Bokya Tov, I'm Stephen ben Danun, and you're watching Israeli News Live. There are some very interesting things coming out of Israel today. Arut Shiva on their uh, website has have been reporting that Hamas, one of the officials for the Israeli government, is saying that Hamas will once again engage with um, the, the Israelis once they see that they have not gotten the political gains that they were hoping for. Uh, as well, Guglio Miotti, a friend of ours, wrote an article called uh, Op-Ed, the UN is Unworthy of Shining Israel's Shoes. Uh, I like the title of that already. Anyway, in the article here, uh, Guglio Miotti uh, brings out that they're, going, that they're wanting to uh, try, uh, excuse me, let me just read you the first part of the article. So the United Nations has launched another legal and political blood libel against the state of Israel. It's official and citizens citizen soldiers this time for the war of defense in Gaza. Amazing, isn't it? Uh, it is amazing, <laughs> Gulio says this thing, it is amazing, observe the moral presumption and ideological arrogance of the world's most absurd organization. Uh, can't agree more there. In fact, the world's Vatican-ran organization. Those that do not know, it's the Vatican that actually runs this organization. Uh, it also states here, and organizations whose blue helmets not only drank champagne while Bosnia people were killing each other, but also sexually abused children, children around the world, from Cambodia to Kenya, an organization which asked Iran to head its department against uh, death, the death penalty. That's a good one, isn't it? An organization which allowed Saudi Arabia to lead the global fight against female discrimination. Now that is a laugh in itself. An organization once headed by someone whose offspring managed the world's largest corruption operation. Do you remember Kofi Annan's son through its channels? Anyway, read the article there. We'll post that on our Facebook channel there as well. Facebook, uh, Stephen Bendinun, those of you that do not know uh, what our Facebook is on the news. And also, uh, real quick, in other news there, let me just, um, there's one other story that came out in Israel that's very concerning to me, and that is that, uh, that Israel is getting ready to try or reopen a case uh, in, in one particular case, they're reopening a case against a young lady, Miriam uh, uh, S-C-H-L-I-S-S-E-L, -S -S -E I'm not sure if I pronounced that correctly. She was 18 years old at the time that uh, the disengagement of Gaza, the settlements were being broken up, and Ariel Sharon had uh, given the command to remove the settlements. And she was part of a roadblock protest. There were many protests going on during this time. Now, the sad thing is the Israeli government gave legal right for the Jewish people to build those settlements to begin with. It was part of an Israeli um, move to settle in those areas to claim the land of Israel. But under pressure of the United Nations, under pressure of the United States, under pressure of the Vatican, they were to, to disengage and to pull out of these areas here. Now, the families were not compensated for their losses. In fact, their houses were all bulldozed down and destroyed by uh, Hamas. And there was no compensation. And they were not even given a break from paying for the homes that were destroyed by the, by the Israeli banks. And now they have the absurdity to bring this young woman and others like her to trial nine years later for protest. It really concerns me when I see those types of actions. It makes me wonder who is in control of the police of Israel. I even have to ask the police there. You're supposed to be for your people. I ask the judges that are there. You're supposed to be for the people of Israel. Do we forget what happened in the Holocaust? What is it? Why is it that police and government officials, now I know not all the police of Israel are like this, or, we, or maybe the police are not even, don't even like the idea of this to begin with. But you know what happened in the Holocaust was that there were certain people, because they were paid well, agreed to be the police for the Nazis. Are we starting to see that the Vatican has so much influence in Israel? You have enough influence that the police throw the Jewish people out of the King, uh, King David's tomb. 
Now you're having enough influence with the government officials. And I say this to the Vatican, to the Pope Francis, you have enough official power to cause the judges of Israel to bring forth people that were protesting their right that was given to them by the Israeli government to build houses and live in this area. Uh, and you, you, you have so much pressure on them that besides that they're how they were thrown out of their homes and made to leave their, their land that God had given them, now you're going to have the Israeli government come out and punish them to make them an example. Is this what this is about? It's amazing, isn't it? It's deplorable. And do not think that the God of Israel, the judge of all judges, is not watching. I'm Stephen Ben-Danun with Israeli News.